Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Fully Informed Trade or Five Trade for short, not for everyone. My name is Alex Cho, and today I'm going to be talking about the S&P 500. And uh, right now the markets are declining a little bit. It did get a bit of a bounce at the beginning of the session. It declined by around three candlesticks. We're getting uh, another 10-minute candlestick on the positive side. It hits that 20-day moving, uh, well, not even the 20-day, just the open, or no, not the open, the previous, yeah, pretty much the open. Um, and right now, you know, it's continuing to pull back again. Um, you know, the markets are having a pretty hard time overall. I mean, we obviously have a lot of risk to consider when we're trading these markets. A lot of European risk, inflation risk, deflation risk. People really don't know what to expect from the markets. We're not really sure what the message is coming out of the Federal Reserve at this point. Um, so we're dealing with a lot of uncertainty. Uh, so as long as Greece defaults on their loans or if they eject themselves out of the euro, we're wondering if other countries will get uh, kicked out of the euro too. Um, the issue is, is that Germany isn't being very practical with their policies right now, and we're anticipating a huge, a huge deflationary mess coming out of Europe. So as long as these policies continue to take place, um, and you know, if, if Europe has their own set of issues. We're assuming that it could have an effect on, US, on, on the U.S. economy, and plus we already saw our U.S. unemployment rate uh, miss expectations by a huge percentage, by a huge margin. So um, <clears throat> at, at this point, you'd be better off looking for companies that are, again, safe, quality, stuff like Walmart, because you're not going to make any money, and in fact, you're going to actually lose a lot of money trying to buy into the more speculative names like AMD, um, uh, uh, I guess um, Nordstrom, uh, Kodak, well Kodak's already bankrupt, uh, Apple, Research in Motion, basically companies that are very speculative in nature. You really want to avoid those. You want to stay with those quality stocks. You want to stay with those utility companies. And I would cut out as much volatility, as much beta from your portfolio as possible if you have to be long. And if you're looking for short opportunities, look for the weakest companies possible. Sears Holding, Sprint, um, anything that's really weak. Just, just look for those, ride those to the ground, and buy those really quality, high quality names just to protect your portfolio. That does it for me for today, guys. And if you have any questions, leave a comment right below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them.